Finally, I'll show you how we can define uh, new classes uh, using uh, restrictions and old properties. Uh, so, for example, I'm going to define a new class for Central European countries. So, a Central European country is a European country that borders only European countries. And to write this definition in all, I have to use a universal restriction on European country and geo borders. So let's see how we can do that in Protege. Uh, a central European country, first of all, is a European country. So I added here as a subclass of European country. And now I want to add uh, the restriction uh, on borders. To do that, I click here on superclasses, and from the different tabs here, I select the object restriction creator, I select borders, and I select European country, and then I select in the restriction type here, I select only. So a central European country is a European country that borders only European countries. And I click OK. Now in the next example, I will use the uh, existential uh, restriction to define Europe neighbor countries. So a Europe neighbor country is a non-European country that borders with at least one European country. So uh, a Europe neighbor country is a non-European country, so I will add it here as a subclass of non-European countries. And then to define uh, the existential restriction, I will add superclasses here. Again, from the tabs here, I will select the uh, object restriction creator. I will select borders because uh, this is uh, the property that I want to add uh, uh, the restriction. So, uh, a Europe neighbor country is uh, uh, a non European country that borders at least one European country. So, here in the restriction type, I select some, which means at least one, to implement. The, uh, existential restriction. Now, in the next example, I want to define German cities. A German city is a city that is located in Germany, and I want to write this definition using the value restriction on this property is geolocated in. To do that, first I have to define uh, Germany as a European country. So I go to individuals and I select European countries and I add an individual here, Germany, I click OK, and then I go back to the classes. And now again, uh, a German city is uh, a city that is located in Germany, which means that I have to add this value restriction here. I go to cities, I define a new class called German city as a subclass of city, and to add the restriction, I click on superclasses, and then here from these tabs, I select the class expression uh, uh, editor and then I click the name of the property that I want to add to the restriction which is, is located in and then value and then German so I want to restrict this property so that all the values that it takes are German and in this way I have created the value restriction.
And finally, this is the cardinality restriction with which I will uh, define an island country. So an island country is a country that doesn't border any other country. So there is a cardinality restriction here on borders and the values that it, that it should take is zero. So an island country is a country, which means I define it here as a subclass of country. And then to add the cardinality restriction, I click here on superclasses. I select the object restriction creator, borders, country, and then here exactly zero. So that means an island country is a country that borders zero other countries. And I click OK. And then again, I go to Reasoner, Synchronize Reasoner, nothing happens, which means that uh, my ontology uh, is valid, uh, so I can proceed.